Hello Centrals. I thought this week we would address a subject that perhaps many of you might have wondered about and that is what does a sexological body worker or a somatic sexuality coach actually do? For starters, the official name is sexological body worker. This is the training that I'm undergoing and this actually originates from United States of America and more precisely California. This type of uh, work was started in the 80s by a person named Joseph Kramer and he's been promoting this work. He's managed in the 90s or in the 2000s to have this field, sexological body work, recognized officially as a training but this happens just in California. The rest of us are either personal development counselors or therapists or massage therapists and so on. Now, a sexological body worker is a trainer specialized in somatic sexuality. That is related to our bodies and how our bodies perceive, feel, how they store emotions and how they can also unblock them. What are the experiences that our bodies are able to handle and to perceive as pleasurable? What are the experiences that we could include in our sexual lives, that is to expand our um, awareness to fulfill or to receive and to feel pleasure? And last but not least, to understand how others also um, feel sexuality, basically what their triggers are first and foremost physical, but the psychic part of it is not left out. Our psychological triggers are equally important. So, this trainer, who is specialized again in somatic sexuality, that is working with the body, can assist a person, a couple, or groups to get educated first and foremost about sexuality, to understand their bodies better, to explore the range of experiences that they might have, and to also release trauma or bad emotions that are stuck in our bodies. This is what somatic actually means. Soma means to store emotions in your body, and it, this happens daily. For instance, you might feel um, that you already know this, if you keep eating while you're upset, chances are that you develop some problems in your stomach and in the worst case you can get to ulcers and so on. And it's the same thing, when you have certain emotional dispositions and you're doing various activities, the emotions that you're feeling can get stored in your body. A lot of the diseases that we carry are actually emotions that were stored in the body for so long that they managed to somehow disturb the harmonious balance of the body and that's how they brought dis-ease. Actually, this is what it means. Disease comes from dis-ease. So, a um, sexological body worker, first and foremost, would start with general awareness of what sexuality, human sexuality is, and the erotic. In fact, this is what I began with. The vlogs that you're watching and that you keep watching are part of this. I am bringing out the subject in Romania or in Southeastern Europe and um, with this, I am also bringing sources of information that you can access for your own. Books, podcasts, articles, documentaries, movies, but things that are um, built in such a manner that they will bring you information, general knowledge, and also might help you understand better various aspects related to sexuality. Contrary to the popular belief, pornography, the entertainment. Also, a lot of the media doesn't inform properly. This is something that the majority of us might have guessed and if we ever dug a little bit deeper into this subject, we must have already found books that are much more um, suitable for your education, documentaries, people who are trained in this area, whether they are in the United States or in Canada, whether they are in Western Europe, whether they are in the Eastern part, in, somewhere in Asia, a lot of these people are bringing knowledge to us that can help us grow. 
The second way that a sexological body worker can help is with understanding your own body and this is through breathing exercises and also various techniques, various touches that you can do on your own and this actually requires that you have no judgments about this and that you're really open to understand yourself and to uh, experience even if you are just on your own. So there's no labeling here, there's no shaming here, there's no nothing ridiculous, it's just you and this person that will just doesn't necessarily have to be with you while you're working, but is directing your experience and directing your um, progress in such a way that you can get to understand your body much better. A sexological body worker can help you develop your own strategy. Now, to make this clear, not too many people believe that they can have a strategy for their intimate life. Who does that? Well, people who want to develop in their intimate life can do that. It's not mandatory, but they can opt for this. And the second thing that you need to understand about strategy is that it's not the sexological body worker that does it for you. He or she creates your space so that you can develop this on your own according to your needs, to your interests, to whatever brings you pleasure or to whatever your instincts tell you. This is the epitome of their work. They're getting you to access your inner resources and bring them out and make them expand, make them grow. Fourth, a sexological body worker can help couples to overcome various, let's say, roadblocks in their intimate lives or just experience and expand their knowledge, their um, pleasure patterns in the body. So there's a connection between the brain and the rest of your body and it's up to your brain to tell you whether what it feels is pleasure or pain. And the trigger between these two is actually very fine. The place in your brain where the pleasure and the pain are activated is very similar. And this is just a fine, um, there's a fine line between them. It's, that's why a lot of the intimate encounters can go bad in just so very delicate and subtle nuances that you might not even suspect. And that's why people can get very confused about these things. You might say that they're in pleasure, or they might believe that it's pleasure. The fine line between pleasure and pain can be crossed, and it's your emotions that actually tell you where you are. And a sexological body worker will definitely work while doing this in couples. We'll work with understanding the emotions, the aphrodisiac emotions, and both positive and negative emotions can be aphrodisiac. It's just that they need the right or the appropriate conditions. The idea is for you to become aware. What, where am I right now? And is this turning me on? What do I need to get turned on? What do I need to experience pleasure or fulfillment, which is totally different from what we would associate with orgasm. Orgasm doesn't necessarily fulfill us and that's why many of us can have a lot of orgasms and can say that we're um, doing everything right but we're walking like these empty people who are craving for more, for more, for more. We're, ne we're never fulfilled. That's the problem. Last but not least, a sexological body worker can work with groups. Now in groups of people, the benefit is that you get to share a lot of knowledge, but you also get to share experiences. Now a sexological body worker or a somatic sexuality coach will also build the space where people who show an interest in this, so they come voluntarily, they can open up, share experiences and have um, understanding from others possible solutions and also an opportunity to learn and to grow so ne not necessarily you come with a problem you can also come with a curiosity you can also come with something that you have experienced and you don't have any reference points for those and in a group there are much more chances that whatever you are curious about or whatever you're facing with can have answers and um, the bottom line here is that you cross the line of embarrassment so you, you come in this place where you're open to learn you speak out whatever it is that you need to learn 
and you're open to hearing what others have to say. Of course, also the bottom rule is that nobody judges. I was discussing with uh, an acquaintance of mine. He's uh, working in coaching, but not in sexuality. And he told me this. He's seen that in Western Europe or in America, they are working, people are working in group therapy. And his preference was, or his idea was that here nobody tries it. And it's because people are embarrassed to come into a group and discuss about anything that bothers them or that they are just curious about because they are afraid of judgment. But were they to surpass this and have the courage or take a leap of faith and just put out there whatever it is that they're curious about, they might have the surprise that they're getting also solutions. Because a lot of us are actually facing the same kind of fears, worries, roadblocks, challenges, or curiosities. In case you've wondered why I started working like this, it was because I myself had a lot of desires and a lot of curiosities and a lot of needs that I wanted to fulfill, but I never have found the right place to do this. And I um, started seeking until I came across this formation. And when I saw it, at first I was like, oh my God, somebody can train to become this? And shortly after this, I was like, I want in. <laughs> I think this is a value to me also, but to other women at least. And why not to improve people's relationships, to have more fulfillment in our lives and to start learning to understand our inner universe. This is how I call it. Because we keep seeking solutions and answers from people on the outside and they don't necessarily rely there. But we need courage to step into this and to want to develop. So this is what I will be doing in the next years from now on. And um, I hope that you have much more clarity in what it is that I'm doing and what is the intention with these vlogs, but also with the events that I'm doing. Now, if you're a woman and you're curious to hear more, then keep watching the link that I'll put below. It's towards my blog with the programs that I'm doing and also with the resources that I'm publishing for you to study, to watch, to read and to experience. Why not? And if you're a man, well, um, it'll probably take a while until I find the right way to approach you with events. But let me tell you, just by watching these and clicking on the links that I send, reading the books and watching the documentaries, you're still going places no matter what. So thank you for watching and um, yeah, let's have a great sexual year.